Don't get that Armageddon fucking thrill from me. Don't get that. Silver Dollar, and this is Process Revealed. Um, <laughs> <you're> <laughs> I'm Steve. Craig. Billy. Um, no, I'm Andy, the, the haircut man, Turhar. <laughs> what a sexy guy. So yeah. y'all have a new drummer, right? Yeah, this is the first one. Why did you pick the other one out? Um, he just wasn't really cutting it, so we just... It was too good for the guy. Yeah, right. He couldn't handle his, his double bass. Gotcha. Yeah. It's not picking it up. Tell him. We're here at the Silver Dollar, and this is Process Revealed. Yeah. I'm Steve. Craig. Andy. Get him, get him. He's uh, our roadie. Road. That's our, our roadie. He's a sexy okay. one. Okay. That's your eyelashes. And you play bass, right? I play bass and sing, sort of. Yeah. He plays guitar. Guitar. I don't know what the hell he does. But I play, I try and play drums. I'm Andy Cole with Cole. So, how long have y'all been together? Since, um, Two months. September of 87. Pretty short time. How long has your demo tape been out? Since Which one? The, the first, one we, <laughs> first one we did in, in January. end of January, and then we did a second one early April, and then we just did a new one, when was that? Like, last... Yeah, from May. May. Yeah, May. Like, a couple weeks ago. Just towards the end of May. Yeah. How did you come up with the name Process Reveal? Okay, that's interesting. Okay, <laughs> From a song. I wrote a I wrote a song that was talking about these robot these people that became robots because this race of people they created they wanted to be pr immortal and the only way they could be immortal is by being robots. And anyway, so in that song I said a process reveal the surgeons are lied. Our flesh and bone has been denied because they turn them into robots so they live all the time. So I just kind of ripped it out of that song and then we used it for our name. Oh. And he called me and wanted to do process reveal or reveal. I said reveal. Um, so what is Pursuit of the Mind's Eye about? Uh, Man's Eye. No. <laughs> no, it's, um, okay, that's one of our lyrics to that. I wrote everything to that. But it's talking about, um, uh, shut up. Now. <laughs> behave. See, he's kind of young. He hasn't gone through puberty yet. No. But anyway, have, anyway. I okay. have two. Okay. <laughs> okay, okay, so it's it's just talking about a, a shrink or somebody that takes control of someone's mind and and shut up and just uses them to get their money or, it, or if you wanted to be more general it could be somebody's girlfriend that takes advantage of them like Craig's girlfriend with him or um, you know just people that have control over other people make them do things that they they don't have control of like us playing here is <laughs> yeah. all the bullshit but um, <laughs> Fart. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, have you done a demo tape since since this one with the uh, Pursuit of the yeah, Minds? Yeah, two, two of them since then. Oh, so that was your earliest one. Our first one, yeah. Oh, Andy's gonna talk. Okay, um, the second one we did. What? What was it? <laughs> two, like it was like a week after I joined the band, right? Two practices. Yeah. Two practices after I joined the band. And we recorded it at Cedar Valley, which is a college that Steve went to. <laughs> and uh, took us it took us like six hours. Yeah. Three days. No. <laughs> Shut up. It took us like six hours. Well, we had three days to mix it and everything. And it was done, and we didn't like it. And it got massive airplay on Cano Ann. And, <laughs> and, and anyway, so we didn't like it. So... Steve got this idea in his head, and Steve, <laughs> and Steve could tell you about that. Okay. Hi, Mom. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna say anything about the same. Thing. We just decided to make a better demo with with Andy playing better and us playing better. So we just did, redid two of the songs that were on the second demo and did two new ones. And we were gonna do a single, but um, it didn't sound like we wanted it, so we aren't doing a single yet. So you. Yeah. So you really don't like the first demo. 
Well, we we like it for what it was, but it it was more metal, if you may. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it was great for the time because the drummer wasn't he was wasn't good. That's the only way to put it, you know. So to get anything we got out of him was just kind of a miracle, to tell you the truth. <laughs> um. So where is your new demo available? Yeah, our new demos demo is going to be available as soon as we get covers made up. If, if we make some pennies here did tonight, you, did we get any last oh, night? We're supposed, well, we're supposed to get it tonight from last night. How much? So I don't know. Are we gonna get two dollars and fifty cents? Probably. Well, oh, those are. Where do you get the inspiration for your lyrics? Ins- my my lyrics are. I guess a lot of my new ones are just kind of. Um, uh, watching TV and just kind of twisting what they say on TV because they're twisting the propaganda anyway yeah. and just kind of coming up with that and a lot of stuff like the pursuit and um, stuff like that was older songs that were more fantasy and now I'm kind of dealing with reality He's a lot more. I've grown uh, out of that stuff. He's growing Stop doing drugs. <laughs> Craig's are all, all personal Tell things. Like, I've only wrote two lyrics <laughs> of two but they're all That's more personal things that have happened to me. And, yeah. so, and, and I write about yeah. like sex, drugs, <laughs> and rock and roll. Yeah. That's, like, the yeah. American That's why there's no songs by. <laughs> so, are lyrics real important to your music? How important are lyrics? Well, I, you know, people ask me, you know, well, who your influence in lyrics? And I won't say like any of the really any of the bands I listen to. I'll say people like Isaac Asimov yeah. and, and people like Ray Bradbury and stuff like that. Struggling Nicaraguans or that are <laughs> I won't, I won't gorillas say, like, and stuff. So that's how important it is. It's real important to me. You know? Yeah. I don't know why. why. So who are your musical influences? Musically, um, fear. The uh, let's see. Armageddon. <laughs> shut up! Shut up! Um, is that them? Don't move your drums, man. Okay. No, I want to do the interview. <laughs> yeah, do uh, the interview. Okay, <laughs> but. but Let's see, people like Dead Kennedys, Circle Jerks, uh, Bad Brains, Bad Brains Bad Seven Seconds, uh, Dag Nasty. Dag Nasty. Oh, Minor Threat before Dag Nasty. Minor Threat. That's your influence, it's mine are different. <laughs> <laughs> um, it wouldn't be Dag Nasty what are your if it wasn't Minor Threat. Um, I like. No. <laughs> <laughs> I, no, I like, um, I like the Bad Brains and Dag Nasty. I've just now started liking them, and, and um, I like some metal too, like Watchtower. <laughs> Watchtower. Who else do I like? Um, Monkey Pup. Yeah, they're they're a new one of mine that I'm kind of into. And and uh, I like the Beatles. I like <laughs> I like anything with a good drummer. REM. Yeah, especially REM. Indo. Uh, Indo Ren's the greatest band of yeah. ever in the whole world. Indo Ren can suck my dick. Um. <laughs> On your t-shirts and on some of your flyers, it says, everybody's on my side, not really. What is, does that have any special meaning, or what exactly does that mean? Well, I just, I just came up with that because we've been through a few drummers before Andy, and it was just like, was we, the original one. He, he, he practiced the first time with us, but we had, he decided not to play with us, and we tried out a few other people, and like, this one guy we played with, we, we just spent like about two or three weeks trying to get the guy to learn the stuff and teaching him stuff. I mean how to play drums almost sometimes and you know then he decided to quit on us and I wrote that down everybody's on my side not really just because I was pissed off you know and put the guy there and Craig thought it was it, cool and I thought it was cool yeah. and then we drew a little man in, or he didn't you drew, there was a man on the back of it yeah. that was there and then we put them together and he put them together and it, it's become a it's just uh, and then, heavy sarcasm yeah. I don't know and then like up till this weekend, everybody was on our side, but now, <laughs> not it's, really. You know, it's not really. Not and really. also, and also on some of your flyers and on your T-shirt, it has a picture of the man hooked up to the machine, and it said yeah. on one of your flyers it says, uh, "Life to you is a dashing and bold adventure." Oh, can, you ex- can you explain that? We got that off a Chinese fortune cookie. That's what it's <laughs> like. We eat Chinese food a lot, and it was just one of the things that he saw in one of yeah. We keep them all the time. And the fat guy, too. Look we for got them. that. We'll be on more of our food. I drew, we got the fat guy from a Chinese place, but I redid it so he didn't get in trouble. Because <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> we're going to be famous. It's Buddha. Yeah. Buddha's yeah. good luck. Yeah. Ho Tai. Ho Tai. Ho Tai. That's what the guy's so called. He's a Ho Tai. H O dash T A I. This little Everybody's. ugly freshman bitch at my high school got the name for Oh, man. That's she is Yeah, she is. Um, so, what are the band's goals for the future? 
I guess our goal is just make lots of money so we can buy nah. cocaine and um <laughs> and, and do lots of drugs. I'd like to have the money to buy that shit. Nice. We just like to keep writing and playing live in other places than this. Out of and Dallas. Out of yeah. Dallas maybe and you know, maybe score an independent record label deal that won't be too bending us over too hard, so yeah. as far as bad deals go. Anything else you'd like to say? Thanks a lot for the interview and stuff, and I hope the video turns out all right. There was somebody I was going to say if somebody ever asked me that, but I don't remember. Come on, think of it. Um, okay, I guess I'm going to say, are identical twins actually clones? Uh, <laughs> We'll give it. We'll give something for the audience to think oh, well, about. Let him say some words. Hey, yeah, he's a roadie. He's, he's the roadie. This is our roadie. Yeah. Say some words, roadie. Hi. How, how, how do you like working with the band? I don't know. Like I'm, I'm an editor for a high school newspaper. So like, um, how do you feel about your brother being in the in Dallas Fort Worth hardcore? Premier hardcore band. Right. With which feelings with, on this? With Terry. <laughs> with Terry. Yeah. With, <laughs> Terry. Okay. Thanks a lot. Okay. Hear him. Don't you give him a so they can hear him? Well, yeah. Are Just we on? Speak up. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Say it real this loud. Is I'm not gonna say jokes tonight because I said them all the other nights. <laughs> Uh, which way? You ready? This doesn't matter to me much, but what's the next one? Go.